if on the off chance that he were to see this video, do you think that he would want you to have been homeless for the last month? Does he know that you're homeless? No, I haven't talked to him. I haven't talked to him ever since December. And so if he saw this video, do you think that he would want to come and get you up off the street? Probably so. Have you ever considered maybe calling him? No. Why not? And then, all because I didn't want to give the crackhead a dollar, he hit me in my face. When did that happen? That happened... YouTube Atlanta Street interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got a young lady out here today. How you doing today, Miss? I'm doing good. All right, all right. So how old are you? I'm 31. 31. Are you homeless? As of right now, yes. Okay. And so what would you say has brought you to this point of being homeless in your life? Um, during the pandemic, people getting laid off and everything. So it's like before the pandemic, I was living good. Making sure, you know, just making sure that my house was good and everything. But during the pandemic, it, it's just, it just threw everybody off because everybody's losing their jobs. And then they said that they have rent forgiveness, but they don't. They don't have rent forgiveness. Okay. And now you see all my brothers and sisters. I call my brothers and sisters. All the village people out here. Okay. You know, hold, hold on real quick. All right, technical difficulties, but all right, we're back. So, all right, so let, let, let me just, you know, let me put a pin in it right there. So, you say you're 31. Uh -huh. um, so, again, you basically said that the kind of the pandemic got you into a situation where you, you basically couldn't pay your rent and you uh, got kicked out. When, how long have you been uh, without a roof over you? It's been a whole month. Okay, so it's been a month. So, all right, so let's let's start from the beginning. So, where are you from? I'm originally from Rhode Island. Okay, from Rhode Island. Shout out Rhode Island. Um, and so, uh, growing up, did you have both your mother and your father in the household? Um, uh, I would say my dad was the backbone of the household, old school type of way, the back, the really like a backbone, basically make sure the household was good. But me and my siblings, we have different combinations of mothers and fathers so me and my sister has the same dad and me and my brother has the same mom but i'm the oldest out of all of them i get it yeah but growing up they made sure in a collective type of way they made sure that we was good we had we had good knowledge make sure that we read books and everything okay and so growing up you would say that you had a fairly normal childhood it was weird, but fair, fairly normal. What was weird about it? Weird about it is when all the parents came together. When anybody got in trouble at school, it's not just one parent showing up. It's all of them showing up. Like, 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 who did it this time? Who did it? Who, who, who did it? Who did it? Well, I mean, that sounds that sounds pretty pretty cool, actually, man. It sounds like a village mentality. It was a village mentality. Okay. And so, uh, you went to high school. Did you graduate high school? I graduated high school. I went to Morris Brown, and I went to Westwood. Okay. Did you graduate Morris Brown? No, because of the accreditations. Back in 2008 and 2009, they lost the accreditations, and there was only maybe 50 kids left there. And so, did and you graduate from Westwood? No, because they lost their accreditation. We, we got transferred to Morris Brown. All the kids that was going to Morris, Morris Brown got transferred to Westwood. Then not even six months later, they lost their accreditation too. Okay. So, I'm going to put a pin in that right there. Um, so, do you have any kids? No. Okay. Have you ever been married? No. Not not officially on paper. Why, why the hesitation? It's because I was supposed to marry... Somebody named Timon, and he got shot on his birthday. Sorry to hear about that. I ain't trying to be funny, man, but this seems scripted as hell. You know what I'm saying? You know, baby, I mean, I, I get it. You're supposed to get married, so on and so forth. Y'all, y'all can talk all the shit you want, but it just seemed a little bit too scripted. But, but I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let, let's get back to it about Timon. Timon, was it? You're supposed to get married to T-Mon, 31 years old. She don't got no kids, fellas. So if you want to, you know, 
swoop in and, you know, pick her up, you know, you could do that as well. Yeah. How long had y'all been dating? We, we grew up together. He's my best friend. Mm. How long ago did that happen? About five years ago. Okay. Like I say, my condolences for that. Um, and so, what were you doing, you know, kind of in between the ages of 22 and, you know, a month ago? Between 22 and a month ago. Okay, let's go down the timeline. I was working at the radio station on night shift. What radio station? Highland 7.9 on night shift. You was working at Highland 7.9 here in Atlanta? Yes. Okay, what were you doing there? I was a promoter, you know, back in the day, you know, we would hand out CDs and hand out, you know, t-shirts and stuff like that. Was you an intern or was you a... I was more like... Did you like, work there as an employee? I worked there as an intern. Okay. And then a year later, then I, I started to get paid. But I, I missed that job. Um, I used to work for DJ Chameleon and DJ Scream. I was, I was working for Hood Rich Entertainment. So, we get to this point. Shout out to DJ Screen. Um, you, you were working at the radio station. Um, what was the job that you had right before the pandemic hit? I used to be a construction worker. I got, I got my, uh, my credentials right here. You, know, you don't have to show your credentials, but you, you was working construction. And I, so, and so it, the pandemic hit, and that caused you to stop working? They sent everybody home. Because, okay. uh, and so was you getting unemployment for a little while and all like that? I got unemployment for maybe two months. And then uh, the credentials got cut off by the company. I was okay. working I was working for Bastin and Cook. Man, everybody credentials in your life be getting cut off, baby. Goodness. Like, what what's happening? They just know that we, I mean, I understand things happen, but man, everybody credentials? Sheesh. Okay, and so what have you been doing for income since then? Um, I, you know, just small jobs, working at McDonald's, you know, here and there. I was trying to pay rent, and then the McDonald's I was working at, they actually shut down because, because, um, because it was a grease fire. It was on the news. This happened, like. I don't believe in bad luck, but if it wasn't for bad luck, you wouldn't have luck. I mean, you go to you go to work at a McDonald's and you shut the McDonald's down. Damn. Anyway, man. Back in December, it was on the news to where the McDonald's because of the grease fire. Somebody left the grease on. I get it. When we closed so down, and by that morning, it was already burnt up. Okay. Has there any been has there ever been any history of drug abuse? No. Okay, what about mental health? Yes. What mental health uh, I have didn't you done? I didn't get my mental health situation when everything started happening last year when my grandfather died, my grandma died, my uncle died. I start going to counseling. It's actually right down the street to Grady. Uh it's ten ten park places right down the street. I'm familiar. And the reason why I went is because I, I became depressed a couple of months ago, which is last year. Were you diagnosed with anything? I was diagnosed with depression. Were you put on any medications for it? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes, I was. Because um, it came to a point where I couldn't sleep for two days in a row. And then crashed on the third day and kept doing the same thing. I'm like, you know what? I need to go get some help. So I went to go get some help. Okay. Um, and so, are you in a relationship right now? No. Okay, when was the last time you was in a relationship? Last time I was in a relationship was last year. What happened to that relationship? Uh, we split apart. We didn't see eye to eye. What specifically did you guys not see eye to eye on? It's, it's that I've been with this person for over three years. And when my mental start declining that that's when he couldn't help me anymore he couldn't help, help you me. what financially or 
help you just in, help in what me way? Mentally. Okay. It couldn't help me mentally anymore. And I left to go to New York. Why did you leave to go to New York? Uh, to see my uh, mother's side of the family. Okay, so you went to go see family, and what happened? Then it was more funerals I had to go to when I was up there. Right. And so, but how did that control? Bruh. So all these people pass. You go to New York. And some more people pass. It's like a cloud hovering, baby. Like, sheesh. Man. Bruh. Maybe to the destruction of the relationship. It's just that we wasn't seeing eye to eye no more. He wants something else. And I what want something want? else. He wanted to get married. And I told him no. And Why didn't you want to get married? It's because of the age difference. How old was he? In his 50s. Was he financially stable? Yeah. It's just that certain, like, I could call him right now. And we could have a good conversation. Just he wanted something else and I wanted something else. And I wish him for peace. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. If on the off chance that he were to see this video, do you think that he would want you to have been homeless for the last month? Does he know that you're homeless? No, I haven't talked to him. I haven't talked to him ever since December. And so if he saw this video, do you think that he would want to come and get you up off the street? Probably so. Have you ever considered maybe calling him? No. Why not? It's because... Uh, you know what? I, I know it's hard to talk about it, but I'm going to just say it anyway. It's because that... I didn't tell him that I lost my job. I didn't tell him that the little apartment that I had, I lost it. Sounds like you uh you ghosted good buddy. That's probably what happened. And you know with pride with some women. Some women will grow. Some women, some people, but definitely some women. That pride gets them to the point where they will lose a job, be out on the street, get evicted, go through all this other stuff before they go back and feel like they have to grovel back to a man that they may have dissed, may have left high and dry, may have ghosted at this point and you having to tell him that yeah i know you were right i know you wanted to take care of me guy guy was financially he was financially able to take care of you and you going through this rough patch knowing that knowing that he would have helped you out but you just decided to go through this and which i, I can understand that you, you you don't want to feel like you're using him even though you feel like you know he would have took you back but i mean love conquers all right fellas you know what I'm saying? But I that's probably what happened. She probably ghosted good buddy. Yeah, but let's 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 finish. I just don't want him to see me as a failure. So it's more of a pride thing than anything. I'm so, just being I'm just so, being very, so very straight honest. up pride. Yeah. Was was the relationship good besides Yes. Okay. He would Every Friday, hey, I used to do something so cute. Every I Friday, me, I would uh, do date night. And I would surprise him when he gets off work. And I have candles everywhere. You know, a glass of wine for him and me. And then I'll make his favorite plate, which is ribs. Barbecue ribs. I got you. So yeah. let me ask you this. I, I see you got like a little thing. Barbecue ribs. <laughs> here on your eye. Um, did you get into a fight recently or did something happen? Actually, yeah, I did. Who was it? Who did you get into a fight with? It was... I'm walking out of Chevron. And it's a barbecue down the street going on at my family spot. And all they did was, hey, you know, go grab us some more beer. You know, they gave me the money. Go grab us some more beer and get some cigarettes. I said, all right, cool. And then, all because I didn't want to give the crackhead a dollar, he hit me in my face. When did that happen? That happened uh, back in October. Oh, you still got the mark from it? Actually, whatever ring that he had on. Oh, he had a ring on, yeah. so it left a pretty decent mark. Yeah. Jesus. 
All right. Well, listen. Um, what are you doing right now? To are you or are you doing anything to actively kind of get yourself off the street right now? Actually, right now I've been trying to look for a job without an ID, which is hard. Which is really hard. Okay. Listen, if anyone wanted to reach out or help out or donate, do you have a cash app or anything like that? People could help you out. Uh, I got my cash app card in my wallet. What's your cash app? Shout it out. It's my Sherrod ninety. Dollar sign in front. Yes. It's, and spell that out. M Y S H E R R O T nine zero. All right. All right. Well, Miss, we uh, definitely want nothing but the best for you, um, and we wish you the best out here. All right. This is only temporary, you guys. Only temporary. Well, check it out. Sherrod, if you want to come on the Cuff and Reason show, I'd be happy to have you on. You know what I'm saying? I know you, you sound like you independent, self-sufficient, modern woman. I feel you. But I know there's some fellas on, you know, that may, if you're looking for a new dude, that may be willing to, um, you know, take care of you, show you a good time, get you back on your feet, baby. You know what I'm saying? Even wipe you up. So, you know, hit me up. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this, man. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Calendly and Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Hit all notifications. Subscribe to my backup channel. Subscribe to the Hustlers Apprentice channel. All the links are in the description. Follow me on IG. I'll follow you back. Also, make sure you guys purchase all my books and merch. And as I mentioned just now, I have a new dating show called the cuffing reason show every monday 8 p.m eastern standard time if you guys are interested in being a guest though make sure you guys shoot me a dm on instagram links below or email me at jrwisdomunlimited at gmail.com link is all also below so with that being said listen man this is wisdom peace be upon you all mercy and blessings of the almighty and we'll catch you guys on the next one i'm out peace it's god's to be maker I will put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto you.